All right, so this is my review of Clomiana. Um, this came out in 2011, I believe. And it stars uh, Zoe Deschanel, or is it Zoe? It's Zoe something. And um, I know her mainly the first time I saw her was from... Guardians of the Galaxy as Gamora. Um, I I actually like her as uh, of, as an actress, and uh, she does a pretty good job at what she does. Um, the other actors in here did a good job. The the. Dad in the beginning and the mother, there was a little bit of uh, hokey looking. Um, I don't know if that's how it was shot or something, but or it, the, I don't. I wouldn't say as far as the acting, um, but it, no, I say a little bit. There's a little bit of it because of the acting, but um, another issue that I did have with it is the fact. Some realistic, unrealistic parts in there. Um, I know it's a movie, so they exaggerate things, but some are a little bit too ridiculous. Uh, like the time, like the part where the uncle just randomly shoots a guy in a taxi, I think it was, and um, this puts rounds in it with an oversized uh, revolver. Uh, but that was a little out of place. Um, There were definitely cool scenes in there. The scene with her uh, diving underneath where the sharks are was definitely a cool shot. Um, I do have a little issue of how she got into there. I couldn't figure that out. Of uh, maybe she crawled into a pipe or something. I don't. I don't understand. But definitely has action scenes in here um towards the end is is definitely the the best part it's all kind of rambo-ish in the end uh kind of, this kind of reminds me of a female punisher pretty much um of the 2004 punisher more to be exact and um You know, on, I would definitely give this four out of five stars. Um, I was going to go for three and a half, but just a second ago, I decided, you know, it had, so, sometimes movies sink in a little bit. And, um, you know, so uh, it's sunk in a little bit. I, I, I would definitely give this four out of five stars. Um I don't know other than her playing Gamora in in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is what she's been in. I because I definitely want to check out some more of her movies. I'm pretty sure I've seen. Um, oh, she played in um, Avatar, and um, did a good job there too. Did I do a review on that? No, I don't. Yeah, I think I did. No, did I? I don't know. Maybe it was before I started this year. Um, but speak of the witch, I actually read that there that it looks like there's going to be one uh, Avatar two in 2021. I could be wrong, but that's what I just came across when I was looking at uh, pictures of her and what she's been in. Um, clearly, I didn't look for a well and what she's been in, or I just forgot because this was a little later on in the day. Um, I tend to forget, but anyways, that's my short review. I do apologize if it's not a lot, um, but I do highly recommend you see this movie if you have not, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that have not seen a lot of movies, and I know I haven't seen a lot of these movies in ever and that there's been out for a long time and you know i just that's why you you'll see me put out movies that i haven't seen uh that you probably are wondering why they're 
why I'm watching them now. It's because the past three years I've been trying to get into movies again. I stopped for a long time. And, you know, anyways, that's why I do those, um, which it works out for this channel, to be honest. Uh, and, um, you know, but enough rambling and telling stuff. So um, if you have not already, please like the video. And please subscribe and hit that bell icon if you have not. Um, it, so you don't ever miss out on a review that you might be interested in or just reviews in general. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have not. Uh, I mean, if you would like, it would help. It just means a lot to me if you did. But anyways, um, Happy New Year and uh, Elmo out.